Hello everybody, I'm Eminent Storm here. Welcome back to Stellaris, the co-dominant human elf campaign. Last episode, we built up the fleet and got some research done, and began moving our fleet down toward the Savelli Galactic Assembly border uh, for potentially waging a war down there to try to help out the Pious Savelli Conclave and some of the border problems that they're having with being able to access their own territory. So, we'll see how that goes. Um, we also have been trying to get the Valdari into the Federation, but we need to wait till their war ends here that they're fighting with the Zephyrus Link. Um, which they kind of got dragged into at one point, and um, hopefully it won't last much longer. We'll see how it goes. We also discovered that there is a star system here with a ring world. That we didn't notice before and there is this fleet of privateers here which is interesting I've never seen this before and um, not exactly sure how strong those guys are gonna be uh, we'll might be finding out at some point but for now we are working on the Savelli and we have our fleet on the way so let's go ahead and pause it let's get these guys moving and they got a long flight ahead of them, so I'm just going to wait till they get in position. And actually, did I order them... Oh, uh, what's this? They will want to give me minerals for star charts. We will take it. Actually, no, you guys just... Just stay right there. I need to fly all the way to the um, starbase. Now, the Rashethi Communion has declared the Club Star Confederation their rival. Okay. Uh, as I was about to say, um, this might be a bit of a shorter episode, uh, primarily because I have already attempted to record this episode twice and lost recording twice due to crashes so um hopefully it won't crash again but i am running out of time so if you're watching this it means it didn't crash and everything went okay so uh we'll see how it goes all right what we want to do here is we have an upgrade to run here. There shouldn't be any on any other worlds. So I've already checked this a couple of times. All right, there we go. All right, these guys are heading down there. Um, this ship is trying to merge. Uh, what about those guys? And these guys are going to land on Alaria. Actually, I'm just going to stick and watch these guys head in and land. And then we will take a look at their um, attachments. And then re-embark them and get them flying back into theater. Uh, what's the research we're working on? Advanced Nuclear Reactor, Orbital Research Institute, and Carriers. So, there is one thing that I'm going to need to do, and we'll see if we can do this. We're going to go in here, and we can do a federal law proposal. We don't want to actually change the way the leadership works. What I want to change is the legislative process. I want to switch from consensus to majority. So, we're going to go ahead and we're going to do that. Federal law proposal. Yes. Uh, we're going to make a federal government law proposal. We're going to change the legislative process. We're going to say, undecides on proposals. Let's see. Yes. To make the proposal more likely to pass, and we can't offer anything. 
The United Republic of Alar is proposing for majority vote. And I'm going to say aye. Proposal fails. I four, nay, one. So because one said no, it fails the entire proposal. Really? And I'm not sure who in the Federation would have voted against me. I mean, we have some pretty, some pretty serious positive opinion here. Colony established. They apparently just established a colony over here. I guess I am letting these guys colonize. Uh, for the tradition, we're going to take standard construction templates, increases ship build speed. All right, so now these guys are landed. Let's take a look. Yeah, we need to give them... Oh, these are defense armies. Hold on, that's not what we want. The assault armies. Okay, you're good. You're good. You're good. Alright, you need attachments. Alright, everybody's good there. Go ahead and embark. And we are going to send these guys down there to link up. Oh, just the game crashed. I don't know, did I? Yeah, I had to remove one of the leaders because they apparently were killed during an RP session on the RP Discord. So this character, General Nikephoros IV, is no longer in, uh, no longer alive. So we're gonna get, we're gonna have to remove him. Because the, the viewer who created the character decided to kill him off, so. There we go. Alright, now these guys are on their way. the fleet. There's the fleet. Now the reason why I wanted to change the legislative process is because when I was doing this before, um, when we were trying to declare war here. Oh. Right, right. Another thing I forgot to do. Uh, we need to switch our war philosophy to unrestricted wars. There we go. And then we would declare war if we try to. So I think it's this Azax. These two systems are the ones that we need to take. 
try and seed planets and give them to the Pious of Ellie Conclave. Uh, only two others are going to vote for it. Because all of these guys um, disallow wars of aggression. So what we're actually going to have to do is we're going to have to liberate the planets. If we do that, then um, they're fine. So we're basically going to end up breaking up the Savelli into a bunch of smaller states. Which is not entirely a bad thing. So we'll maybe we'll have to do this. It's going to be 60 war score. And I probably will go ahead and just humiliate them. As well. But we're not going to do that quite yet. Here's my fleet. These guys are a jump out. Iron recruitment finished. Okay. Oh, what's this? Zephyrus Link made Survey peace with complete. the Globestar Confederation following demands were enforced. Okay, so it looks like the Zephyrus won the war? Which means that Valdari are no longer involved in the war, which means we can invite them to the Federation! Beautiful. Confirm it. Our presence right. in the galaxy has not gone by. All right. So we now have communication with the curator Alpha Enclave, and the Valdari are now in the Federation. That's very good. All right. Oh, and we have the first of our new psionic armies. Cybernetic implants. Interesting that we can't, like, put the psionic attachment on them. I guess it's kind of redundant. Advanced powered exoskeletons. Engineer squads. Um, heavy artillery support. Powered exoskeletons. Cybernetic implants. Hmm. I think we'll give them aircraft support. And we'll embark them. And get them flying down into the theater. Merging with the Garoto Starfleet. Ooh, that's not going to be a good idea for you to be over there. Why are you parked over here with the Savelli? Sorry, buds, but we're going to war in like a minute here. And your fleet is going to die. Um... Declare the glorious Kagasi hegemony has declared the Omni Foundry their rival. But already has entered a migration treaty with the Pious Civilian Conclave. Makes sense. The name consciousness has decided to end their association status. The, the Inari Coalition has opened their borders. Uh, let's see. Entered a migration treaty with the 
Abenvi Commissariat. Okay. Alright, well, the bulk of our military is in place, so there's no reason why we can't just go ahead and start this war. And what I'm going to do before we do that is I'm going to save the game, just in case. So give me a second. Alright. So let's declare war. We're humiliating them. And then we are going to as X. It's going to be liberated. And these guys are going to be liberated. And confirm. The Oscox Genetics made peace with the Omni Foundry. Need the burning bone to agree, and then we are gonna go. They are a threat to democracy. Okay, there we are. We're at war. We're gonna run this, hopefully, relatively quickly. And then, after this, then we're gonna get up here, and we're gonna do the thing that we've been. Talking about doing with the Oscox Energetics and the Kark as the next major project, but let's get this done first. Alright, so we're taking point. So these guys are going to follow. Oh, these guys are the Federation leaders, so they have the actual Federation fleet. Okay, well that's going to be useful. Burning Bone is gonna, they're gonna take a long time to get down here if they do decide to uh, send some ships, which they are. All right, recruitment has been completed, so we got our new psionic army. Get them some air support, and then we're going to embark them. And tell them to get down into the theater. Those guys are on their way. These guys are just about there. Oh, and another army is done. So this is what Psych gun engaging enemy yeah. space. Saikaniki Makitas. All right. All 
All right, so we are engaging the spaceport. Sikaniki. Mikey does. If I'm rem remembering my Greek pronunciation correctly. Looks like that our sectors are getting busy with the colonization, which is fine by me. Alright, there goes the spaceport. guys might want to get out of there. Are these new models? I don't recognize them. Those some new models were implemented with the new update. I guess that must be it. All right, here comes the Rashethi fleet. There's a Valdari fleet. Survey complete. Once this spaceport has been dealt with, then we'll start moving the uh, the ground forces in here. Actually, probably we can go ahead and do that now. I was wondering, why is the bigger fleet merging with the smaller one? That's because the general commanding this fleet is actually a lower rank. Mm -hmm. 
Those guys aren't too far. Well, no, they they are pretty far away. All right, we're just waiting for this merge to happen, and then. All right, spaceport is down. And it looks like that Uthian's shrine is going to get sieged first. Then Taminth is probably going to be second. Wow, this Roshethi fleet has 18 battleships in it. Alright, so these guys are ready. So let's go ahead, get over here, and get them. On their way over. Engaging enemy fleet. Oh yeah, that's right. I'm gonna have to turn off because they're gonna go after every single civilian ship if I don't disable their um, aggressiveness. But I think what we're going to do is we're going to actually end this episode here and get to work Technology on this discovered. war when we come back. Actually, just a sec. Improved antimatter power or medium ion cannon. Uh... Improve the anti-mana power. That's what we're going to go for. All right. Yeah, now we're going to end the episode here. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment. And I will see you next time.